Hey guys, it's your favorite Unc here. Go ahead and click that subscribe button below so you don't miss a single episode of Nightcap. That button right here. Come for the sports, stay for the stories. All right, come on, Ocho. Let's get it. Dunk on Unc. You ready? Dunk on. Dunk on Unc. Dunk on Unc. Trivia question. The first question is, you're not going to get this okay. one anyway. You definitely ain't going to get yep. this. You ready? Patrick Mahomes just won his third Lombardi trophy. He was the second youngest quarterback to ever win a Super Bowl back in 2019 at the age of 24. Mm -hmm. Who is the youngest quarterback to ever win a title? Who? Yeah, you, you, yeah, you ain't gonna get this one. He was the second. Oh, Big Ben. Big Ben was the youngest. Man, you ain't know that, man. You cheating, man. Let me see your hand. Let me see your hand. Let me Big see your ben, hands. You got to realize Big what Ben came out early and he won the Super Bowl in the second year. They lost in the AFC Championship game to Pittsburgh to uh, New England in 2000 in 2004 and he came back and won okay, it in 2005. Okay. I was at that game because that same night, that's the same night Kobe scored 81 on Toronto. Look it up, y'all. On Toronto. Okay, you're right. You're right. You're right. Well, uh, chat uh Ben Roth Ben Roethlisberger was the youngest quarterback to win the Super Bowl at the age of 23 when the Steelers defeated the Seahawks in Super Bowl 40, 40. in Detroit. Okay, you got one. You got one. All right, you definitely going to okay. get this one, though. Which city has hosted the most Super Bowls? New Orleans. And New Orleans or Miami? Wrong. Loud and wrong. No, your first, your, okay. your first answer. We're going with your first answer. Your first answer was New Orleans. Wrong. It's Miami. <laughs> Miami has hosted the most Super Bowls with 11. Wow. 11. But listen, Super Bowl is in New Orleans this year. Do this you have any tri if you have any trivia multiple choice? They, they all these are multiple, they choice. multiple choice. Oh, you want me to multiple give... choice though. You got to yeah, give me you, answers. Yeah, oh, you want me to give you the answers? You want me to give you the answers? You, so you do know how that multiple nah, choice work, doing... right? Okay. Nah, okay. nah, we okay. ain't doing that. No, we Hey, you 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 bet you got to be like stump the swab. <laughs> Yeah, you, you do realize that stuff. that's not my only job, though. <laughs> okay, come on. All right, we I got, got one more. Come on. They, they, oh, oh, this is you should get this one. This is a no brainer. Christian yeah. McCaffrey led the NFL in yards from scrimmage this season with 2,023 yeah. yards. Which running backs hold the NFL record with the most yards from scrimmage in a single season? You got to know this. <sighs> I'm gonna go out on a limb. Come I on. think I'm gonna say Chris Johnson. Oh, well, you good, boy. You good. The answer is correct. Chris Johnson has 2,509 yards from scrimmage in 2009, most in NFL. He history. really should have had the record because, remember, they called his long runner back, back against Seattle. They called Holden, uh -huh. and he would have went over 2,100. Yeah. Easily. But, yeah, I, I, I felt, you know, I think I, said, I, think I know this. Um, mm -hmm. Most people probably would have said, like, Eric Dickerson, but ED didn't catch a whole lot of passes the year he went for 2105 because that was the same year right. Dan threw for 5,084 with, with yep. 48 touchdowns. Mm -hmm. So, brother Mark Duper, Mark Clayton, the Marks brothers. That. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So I felt I was like, nah, ED didn't catch enough passes. Adrian Peterson was really not. Marshall Falk went 1,000, 1,000. Roger Craig went 1,000, 1,000. I was yeah. like, nah. I think I say, yeah. Yeah. I did. All right, you go. You should know. You should know this one. You should know this one. I know that one. Somebody trying to open my door. Oh, all right. You should know this one. This is a good one, because this is right up your alley, and I know your memory serves okay. you well. You played in your first Super Bowl back in 1998. God damn mm -hmm. you, old Broncos versus Packers in Super Bowl 32. 32. Who scored the first touchdown? There's no way you get this wrong. Who scored the first touchdown in Super Bowl 32? For us or for them? For Green Bay? First touchdown, okay. period. Uh, I'm going to say Antonio Freeman. Dang. Man, you cheating because you looking <laughs> down, man. You looking down. Man, you looking at something, man. Ain't no way in hell you know this you stuff, You do realize man. I played in the game. Oh, <laughs> nah, man. You looking at something, uh, man. Come on, man. <laughs> hey, you, you cheating, man? Hey, Ash, are y'all over there giving nah, up the answers, nah. man? She ain't giving no answer. She, you do you think she want me to think I know everything? She hated when I ask her to look at something, and I go ahead and tell her the answer before she look it up. She just look at me and give me the easiest look. She would never nah, give me the answer. Man. I would never well, like Ash. I need you to help me cheat on this. No, she gonna give me all wrong answers. <laughs> all right.
All right, Antonio Freeman, 22-yard TD reception from Brett Favre in the mm -hmm. first quarter. Obviously, your Broncos. Yeah, it was at the, the back of the end zone because Steve hit him and he still held on to the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I okay. I know you're not going to okay. get this one. Let me see. Let me think. Go ahead. I know you're not going to get this one because this is, this is going to throw okay. you off. Usher performed in this year's Super Bowl halftime mm -hmm. show. Which of the following artists have never performed at halftime? Okay. Mariah Carey, Madonna. Madonna did in Indiana, in Indianapolis. Go ahead. Or Black Eyed or Black, Black IP. IP have Mariah Carey. <laughs> man, man, they man, they gave you they gave you the answers before we started. Oh, this, Joe, man. you <laughs> Oh, Joe. How you know Mariah? How you know Mariah ain't never been in Super Bowl? It's many Super Bowl as but here's the, Ocho, How you know? The thing that you're gonna learn that when you do TV, if you get, if you can, unfortunately, I hope you do, um, get back in linear television. You have to have mm -hmm. tremendous recall because now, mm -hmm. now it's kind of moved away from just debate and it's more conversational. But right, the thing that you have to do is that you have to hear what the what one guy is saying. Now. I've got to punch a hole in his argument while recalling right. all of my information that I have. Yeah. And so you right. have to be able to remember stats. You have to be able to remember dates. Remember, I told you, we was my, we was my grandfather's iPhone before there was a phone because they would okay. give us, he would like, Hey, tell them boys your number. And when he got home, Hey, what was a, uh, 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 such and such number? What was this? What was that? And we be, had to recall you better, it. You better be able to yes, remember it. Yes, yeah. and he was big. He used to tell me and my brother all the time. He says, if I take you somewhere, you should always be able to get back. So he was, now, mm. my brother, that was my brother. I, I couldn't do it because I'm asleep. We back at the driveway. I'm, but not my brother. <laughs> he would always take my brother because I'd be sleeping at night. And a lot of times he would take my right. brother, come on, Spanky, ride with me to the truck stop, get a cup of coffee, get some mm -hmm. grits or something like that. You notice I said, he, uh, and, um, would eat, get something to eat. My brother ain't really getting nothing, get nothing to eat. But Ocho, you do realize mm -hmm. I was on Jeopardy and I won, right? Yeah, you yeah you was on Jeopardy, but they 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 give you a heads up on what you might get. They asked give they Jeopardy. give you possible topics that that you might ah, get asked. But this is the thing: if you have the if you have the possible topics, you know the question that no, I don't. That are going I to don't. be asked. Are we just know be somewhere somewhere around? In, in the realm of what you're studying Ocho, for. Do you know how many Olympics that they've had? Do you know how many television yeah. series have been on? <laughs> mm -hmm. So they say TV yeah. series. You might get Gunsmoke. Yeah. You might get Friends. You might get Martin. Mm -hmm. But you also might right. get Bewitched or some other stuff. Mod, Rhoda, mm -hmm. Taxi. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready for it. What you know, what you know about Taxi? Remember the movie Taxi? You talking about with, you don't remember that with Jody Foster. I, she I, was the youngest. I'm talking about I'm talking about the original taxi now. The original with Jody Foster. Yes, man. When they was battling the green cabs and the yellow cabs, the green cab and the two twins, the two the two uh, bodybuilder twins. <laughs> yeah. I think we talk. About, I think Go we talk about different things. Oh, so you, I'm talking about DC. No, I'm talking about I'm talking about DC cab. Oh, no, my bad. I thought you were talking about it's like ain't no way you know about Jody Foster. She got nominated for no, an Academy ta Award. Taxi. Wait, taxi is DC cab. Oh, Lord. Taxi. Yeah, I think the name of the movie is 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 Taxi. Huh? It had the the yellow cabs and the green cab. DC huh? cab. I don't I don't remember. Yeah, with, with my with I'm uh, getting old. I'm getting old. Chat, y'all remember that? Well, dude, Jody, because Jody Foster got nominated for an Academy Award. I think she was like fourteen or fifteen. She didn't win. She won for Silence of the Lambs with uh her and uh oh, but she killed that Oscar Anthony Hopkins. Hopkins. Yeah, yeah. You see, how I came. See, yeah. I, see, I know my stuff. See how I know my stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Ocho wasn't even born. I, what man? I was born in '68. Man, well, what you talking about? You I wasn't born. born in the, you know, I was like, hold on. I'm thinking to myself that taxes, right, bro? Yeah, all these movies I know. All the movies I know. I seen all them. I seen all them. All the movies from back before I was born, from the '50s, '60s, '70s, '80s. I can talk about all like, them because my my grandma, my grandma. Introduce me to all that, so I can talk about stuff before I was even alive. Like, like movies, you, you remember Jack and a few good men? A yeah. few good men, yeah. You can't handle right. the truth, yes. When he stands up, he's like, and he asked him a question, 
And he says, uh, yeah. you want the truth? He says, I think I'm entitled to it. You want the truth? He says, mm -hmm. you can't handle the truth. Son, we live truth. in a world yeah. that has walls, and those walls have to be guarded mm. by men with guns. Who's going to do it? You, mm. you, Lieutenant Weinberg, I have a greater responsibility mm. than you could possibly fathom. You weep for Santiago. Mm. You curse the Marines. You have that luxury. You have the luxury of not mm. knowing what I know. Santiago, death while yeah. tragic, probably saved lives. My appearance, grotesque and incomprehensible to you, saved lives. You don't want the truth to deep mm. down in places that party you don't talk about. You want me on that wall. You need me on that wall. We use words like yeah. code, honor, loyalty. We use these words of a mm. backbone spin defending something. You use them as a punchline. Now, I haven't the time nor the mm. inclination to explain myself to a man who rises and sleeps under the blanket of freedom that I provide and then question the man in which I provide it. I'd rather you say thank you or pick a weapon to stand at post. Either way, I don't give a damn what you think you are entitled to. Did you order the code red? I did my job. Did you order the code red? You did it right, I did. <laughs> Yeah, I like that. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. I like that. That was beautiful. Now, man, you know, that Jack hit that thing, man. Hey, he killed it. That method acting, getting yeah. in the character, being able to deliver in the heat of the moment is why he is one of the greatest actors of all time. Hey, that was nice, huh? That was nice. We got to get you in front of the big screen, now. Oh, I got, I got tremendous get you in front recall. Of the big screen. Ocho, when I tell people, like, like I can tell you, my grandfather died when I was eight. I can tell you everything he ever said. I can tell you my grandma lived yeah. since I was forty-three years of age. I can tell you every time my grandmother's been upset at me. I can tell you why. I can tell you where I was. I can tell you exactly what yeah. I did mm -hmm. every single time. Yeah, yeah. I, I have, I have tremendous recall as well based on the situation and the circumstances and the outcome mm -hmm. that it had. Most of the time, the outcome had to be negative. <laughs> you know, <laughs> if the outcome was negative, I have tremendous recall. You know, that's just how, you know, things stick out to you much better that way. I, I'm not sure why it is, but that, that just, that's just the way life is and the way, the way it goes. Most of the part of things that I've done in life, I cannot recall. I cannot recall because it's, it's normal for me. It, it, it happens in a repetitive fashion, and I don't remember. The negative things happen very seldom, which is why I'm able to recall them very, very clear like it just happened right. yesterday.